faces together for, to further faces the from the front line against poaching and, and the illegal wildlife trade. Rangers from nearly 50 United countries States are here to share States concerns that are sounding very Society similar. Not enough support or money to do jobs that are getting increasingly dangerous. Demand for animal parts, fur, medicine made from endangered species and exotic clothing is growing. Their budgets are not. Annette Milmio is one of only four women rangers in Zambia's main wildlife park. She balances risky field and undercover work with raising children as a single mother. Poachers in Zambia are all armed with IK-47, most of them. So it's who sees who first. Sometimes we've had friends that have been shot at because maybe poachers saw you first. So it's just because we are trained to do this job. An Orinka. Rangers toured a Colorado warehouse where the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service keeps confiscated animal parts and products. There are medicines, ornaments and trophies, and designer clothing made from skin and feathers. The trade is growing and it's lucrative. There are organized crime cartels that utilize critically endangered species to proliferate um, their arms, uh, their insurgencies, whatever they're going to use the wildlife money for. Those are having decimating effects on wildlife populations. Here's what's left behind when elephant tusks are taken to make those expensive carvings in the warehouse. In Africa's elephant range, a new survey finds many rangers feel their jobs are too risky and the pay is too low. It's leading to a crisis in ranger morale, says the Worldwide Fund for Nature. The majority of these issues, whether it is insurance, whether it is capacity or, or uh, their welfare has to be addressed by the national governments. So what we are trying to do is uh, through this data to convince the government and to lobby the government uh, to make necessary policy changes to help rangers. Beyond Africa, concerns heard here at the Congress are much the same. Whether it's Asia, South America, Europe or even the United States, the fight against the organized criminals who are involved in the wildlife trade needs far more backing than it currently gets. If not, the list of casualties on the endangered species list will continue to grow. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Estes Park, Colorado.